Namdi Kano was today discharged of all the remaining seven count charge, which seven counts were retained by the Federal High Court in his judgment in April this year. I said it before, the court tried in striking out eight of the 15 counts charge, but it did not go far. It shied away from striking out the remaining seven counts. Based on that, we appealed on behalf of Namdi Kano that the lower court was wrong. There was one fundamental issue on which the court today anchored its judgment, this intermediate court. And that is that the lower court never evaluated the mountain of evidence placed before it regarding the forceful capture, kidnap, torture, and extraordinary rendition of Unam Dikano from Kenya back to Nigeria on the 26th of June, 2021. The lower court glossed over it. We placed this before the lower court in more than 10 paragraphs of solid materials to show the circumstances under which Namdi Kano was forcibly abducted, kidnapped, blindfolded, tortured, and then rendered back to Nigeria extrajudicially, extralegally, against the laws of Kenya, against the laws of Nigeria, against all international instruments dealing with extradition. After a year and four months of being inhumanly treated and kept in an SSS facility in Abuja, Namdi Kalu, the figurehead of the poor Biafran group, the indigenous people of Biafra, have finally been cleared of all charges brought by the federal government of Nigeria, by the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal stated that the lower courts lack jurisdiction over the matter and should be based on the fact that proper extradition processes wasn't upheld, stating that it was a proper violation of Namdi Kalu fundamental human rights. Now my problem is not that it had to take us a year and four months to see the obvious. My problem is just the cluelessness of the federal government, like who gave the order for him to be kidnapped without going through the proper extradition process. It just shows how the person or the people that gave the order lack proper cognitive thinking and those are the same people that are ruling nigeria or ruling africa in general it's just really it's just really sad but anyways i'm i'm really really happy that justice have been served in due process so that's just it and i thank god for everything well guys i'm all out and thank you for watching please 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 subscribe to this video like it's just a new channel subscribe like and share thank you very much and god bless you see you in the next video